Chad Merkin is venturing into the frontier of science at Northwestern University's International Institute for Nanotechnology. The Merkin Group is a place where amazing, though infinitesimally small, things happen every day. The pace of invention, the pace of development is so rapid around here, it's really hard to keep up with. I went from, I don't know, a point in my career where I felt like I was driving all of my students and postdocs now to the point where I feel like they're completely driving me. What's the, what's the purpose of using the DNA? But it's the force of Chad Merkin's personality that really drives invention here. As a pioneer in nanotechnology, Merkin innovates on the atomic scale, yet he's always looking for how scientific concepts can become practical inventions. A lot of people stop after they recognize that there's a new property. They don't ask how I can use that property to do some good, how I can use that to create an invention that will make a difference. Merkin's work is making a difference in myriad fields, ranging from nanofabrication to medical diagnostics to covert tracking. It's pretty nice. His signature invention is called dip pen nanolithography. Merkin realized that in the same way an atomic force microscope contacts its subject to read information, he could use that point of contact as a writing tool. We could think about transporting molecules that would build functional surface architectures. And that was really the birth of dip pens. The idea became, could I coat these tips with molecules that could transport through the water that forms at the point of contact to an underlying surface, and then create patterns by designing molecules that would chemically react with the surface. The concept worked, and soon Merkin was able to scale the process to enable vast arrays of nano dip pens. We've commercialized dip pen nanolithography in the form of a tool called the inscriptor. We now can pattern structures uh, made of any sort of material that will flow from a tip to a surface, including DNA, so genetic material, proteins, small molecules, materials that are important in the catalysis industry, materials that are important in the electronics industry. You can begin to build integrated circuits that are much smaller than the types of structures that are made by conventional lithographic methods. You can make those circuits out of materials that you cannot use with conventional lithographic methods. It opens up the field of polymer and molecular-based electronics on the nanoscale in a very meaningful way. Merkin's next challenge was medical diagnostics. Like most of his inventions, his system that tests for disease markers was inspired by two basic properties of nanoparticles, their unique ability to capture and disperse light, and the fundamental structure of elements in their nanostate. Everything, when miniaturized, has different properties, different chemical and physical properties. These, for instance, are vials of gold and silver in various nanostates. Merkin's breakthrough was to pair these types of nanoparticles with synthesized DNA. Almost immediately, we discovered I could begin to design particles that have DNA codes that go after a particular disease marker. Then, by sandwiching the captured disease markers with nanoparticles, developing with a silver solution, and amplifying the signal, Merkin's invention could quickly determine if disease markers were present. So the basic idea is that you can have a chip like this that has a series of wells. Each well can have a different patient sample. It has all the reagents to process the sample and release the different disease targets. On the chip, you have capture agents. Once you're done, you pop this off. You have a chip like this, and you put this in the reader. Light comes up through the microscope slide, measures the scattered light. A white spot tells you you have a hit and the intensity tells you how much of the disease target you have. So you very quickly can analyze a patient sample for one or many tens or even hundreds of disease targets at the point of use or point of care. And because the system is tens of thousands of times more sensitive than conventional diagnostic lab testing, it can detect potential life-threatening diseases well before they might ever be found. These days, Merkin is working on a nanoscale barcode system that will allow users to securely track and authenticate items and do it all invisibly. We call them disk codes. And these are little nanowires that have been chopped up so that they have little disks made of gold or silver and they have nanometer scale gaps. You can take one of these wires and you can now begin to add information by controlling the number and spacing of the disk codes. And so you can use this for anything ranging from covert tracking, the military is interested in it from that standpoint, 
to uh, creating systems that can be used to authenticate high value items, uh, to new types of labels that can be used in biological detection. One can only imagine what Chad Merkin will create next, but given his love of inventing and his boundless energy, one thing is certain. Merkin's next breakthrough will likely occur sooner rather than later. Every time I go home, much to my, my wife's uh, dismay, I'm looking forward to going back to the lab because there's always a new clue or a new piece of the puzzle that's driving us down a particular path and something exciting at the end of the day that's, you know, worth coming to work for.